national titles, medals of all colours and representation at elite level. The Army continues to boast a very high calibre of sportsmen and women. Every nominee deserving of their nomination and every winner worthy of their award. But you could argue that the night belonged to the Army women's cross country and road running team. Not only did they win Team of the Year, but Danny Hodgkinson also won Sports Woman of the Year. She's excelled in track, road and cross country athletics and has represented England in two of those disciplines. Things like this, just being around teams from the start, being around other sports people gives you that boost, having some of the, um, the talks from some of the big stars gives you the boost and then yeah, winning the trophies as well keeps you going. I do a lot of training on my own but the other girls must do a lot as well. It's, it's not the easiest sport, you can't relax at any point during it, so you can't hide with running really. So. Um, yeah, they've all put in so much work over the years. The team manager has been doing it for years. They don't have to do it, they choose to do it. Um, Kelly Hanover, plus other people behind the scenes. Um, so I think for them, definitely as well. Um, it just gives a bit of, a bit of um, what's the word, a credit back to them. Team manager Kelly Hanover had nothing but praise for Danny and her teammates. Inter-service champions for the past 30 years, these ladies and those before them have shown incredible strength in depth. It's been a long time coming with this. Uh, we've been very successful over 30 odd years. Um, and the dedication the girls are putting in, in their own time, in the weekends, traveling to events, because most of our events are on the weekends. Um, and it just, it's, it's, it's paid off. And it's been, it's been For me, I'd love to just reflect back to some of the other managers we've had and the hard work they've done. It's not just me. They put that hard work, in, uh, hard work in over the years, and I wish they were there to share it. The sport world wish they were here to share it as well. In the sportsman category, boxing came out top for the second year running. Twelve months after Ches Nihel took the accolade, Natty Nguenya stepped up. Now the English and Three Nations heavyweight boxing champion, his army team and the support they've given him obviously mean the world. I know I have to move on to get better, better myself and go prove myself and and things that I want to do and achieve, but um, it's not going to be the same. You've been there countless times in our gym, and you know it's like, it's not always just training together, it's a family cohesion, you know, like, um, and the fact that I have to think that whatever training that I go to outside the army, I'm alone. But it's, it, it, it's a journey that I have to take with myself. But I don't have those people egging me on. Sometimes I come in the gym, I don't even want to train. And I see Shanice, Ryan, or Chez, or anyone, and that will lift my spirit up. And I just got on about it. And the winner is Lieutenant Colonel Richard. Dubbed Mr Rugby League, Rich Nivellaru was named Sports Official of the Year. He's been the linchpin around which Army Rugby League has developed over the last 25 years. Well, it's been a labour of love. Um, I'm a rugby union man by descent. Uh, I got involved in the early days. Fantastic sport. Um, I've never managed to extricate myself out. And, uh, yeah, as I say, it's a labour of love. Uh, Mrs Nab doesn't like rugby much because it's uh, taken a lot of my energy and time up. But, uh, it's been a fantastic experience you know, giving, uh, trying, to, well, trying to give soldiers the opportunity to play rugby league at, the, uh, at every level, but uh, particularly at the highest level. Eight training battalion Remy won the major unit title, whilst 160 Provost Company Royal Military Police claimed the minor unit prize. There was also a lifetime achievement award for Charles Bromley Gardner for his services to a whole raft of sports, including orienteering, athletics, rugby and Nordic skiing. Which is a great motivator. I mean, most of the soldiers, soldiers doing sport nowadays probably have not done that level of sport prior to joining the military. Um, but uh, we do have a strong emphasis on it as a deliverer of military capability. And, and by giving people the opportunity, whatever it may be, and across a wide range, we've seen a battalion really, for example, a training regiment battalion, um, who have ma amazing opportunities for people to identify which sport flicks out a particular switch. 
Characters like Charles epitomise what a sporting life is like in the army. Free to choose whatever and as many sports as you like, with the full support of your service behind you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos just like this one.